Hola folks, I Bhumika wholeheartedly welcome all you 10thies out there to the Baiju's J channel. I do know that your 10th board exams are right around the corner and you would be super duper busy preparing for them. So firstly, all the very best from my end. I hope God blesses your efforts and you pass your exams with flying colors. And secondly, it would be great if you could spare some time out and watch this video right till the end cause it's tailor made for you and trust me, it's totally worth it. So, what after 10th? Isn't this the bus question which is floating around you from all directions right now? Your peers, friends, fellow classmates, relatives, neighbors, uncles, aunties, parents, siblings, juniors, seniors, all bombarding you with the same concern, with the same query. Kiddo, your 10th is almost over. What have you thought about your future? What are your plans post 10th? What do you want to become? A doctor? An engineer? A lawyer? A writer? A CA? A teacher? What do you want to be? Are you someone who doesn't have answers to these questions? Are you one among those tons and tons of students who are confused about the career choice that they should opt for once their 10th is completed? I know most of your answers will be yes. Well, do not worry, do not panic. It's absolutely okay and it's absolutely fine. Take a deep breath, open your eyes and ears and listen. After crossing your 10th and right before you enter your 11th grade, you are asked to select exactly one of these three streams in your school. Science, Arts and Commerce. Right? Being at this point is like being at a junction which leads to multiple paths and hence multiple opportunities. What is required of you is to make a choice. Now you would be wondering, how do I make a choice? The answer is, dig deep, go inside, introspect and ask yourself, what drives you? What is it that you enjoy doing? What do you love the most? What are you passionate about? What is that one thing which when you do, you do not feel bored or tired? What is that one thing which doesn't seem like work to you and you can engross yourself completely in the joy of purely just doing it? Boys and girls, whatever that thing is, that is exactly your true calling. That is what you should make a career of. I love to teach, I love to learn and that is what I'm doing right now. Similarly, you can find your own mojo, you can find your own magic. All you need to do is have this conversation with yourself and reach to an answer, reach to a decision. Because a decision today will give you a head start and will put you ahead in the game right away. And you already know, a good start means half of the journey is done. Also, a good decision today will ensure that you have a successful career later. Out of the plethora of opportunities at this junction, I am here to address the possibilities specifically in the science stream, which are engineering, medical, as well as pure sciences. In here as well, we are particularly interested in exploring the possibilities which engineering has to offer us, okay? See, engineering is the very field which is responsible for human progress right from the invention of fire and wheel to the era of AI that is artificial intelligence wherein robots perform surgery on actual human beings. Awesome, isn't it? Engineering is the branch of science and technology which is concerned with the design, the building, the use of engines, machines and structures. To put it simply, engineering is all about using the available resources to solve an existing problem in order to make life easier, simpler, convenient. Okay, but which engineering related solution gives you the strongest kick? That is what you have to catch hold of and accordingly decide the stream, the branch in which you would want to pursue your engineering career. 
Here is a rundown of the various streams of engineering to help you decide which one could be for you. Out of all these, the ones which are sitting within the inner circle are called the core branches and they are always super duper high in demand. All right. एक बार जब आप फ्रीज कर लेते हैं कि आपको किस स्ट्रीम में किस ब्रांच में इंजीनियरिंग करनी है तो अगला ऑब्वियस सवाल ये उठता है कि आखिर इंजीनियरिंग करनी कहां से है राइट सम ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर इंस्टीट्यूट विच ऑफर इंजीनियरिंग कोर्सेज आर योर आई आई टीज दैट इज इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एन आई टीज दैट इज नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड ट्रिपल आई टीज दैट इज इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज सम अदर वेरी फेमस इंस्टीट्यूट इंक्लूड ICER that is Indian Institutes of Science Education and Research NICER that is National Institutes of Science Education and Research IIST that is Indian Institutes of Space Science and Technology IISC that is Indian Institutes of Science and ISI that is Indian Statistical Institute Among all these the ones which are the most reputed and the most prestigious are your IITs किसी भी बच्चे से पूछ लो यार ही और शी विल फाइंड आई आई टी टू बी द मोस्ट ल्यूक्रेटिव ऑप्शन सम ऑफ द रिनाउंड पर्सनैलिटीज विच आर पास आउट्स ऑफ आई आई टीज इंक्लूड चेतन भगत वी ऑल नो हिम ही इज अ वेरी फेमस इंडियन ऑथर एंड कॉलमनिस्ट वी ऑल्सो हैव सुंदर पिचाय सी ई ओ ऑफ एल्फोबेट द पेरेंट कंपनी ऑफ गूगल बोथ ऑफ देम आर एल्यूमिनाइज ऑफ आई आई टी वन फ्रॉम डेली वन फ्रॉम खड़गपुर We also have Anjali Joshi who is a former vice president of Google. She is an alumni of IIT Kanpur and we also have Jitendra Kumar who is none other than Jitu Bhaiya from Kota factory. Hum sabne dekha hai and we all love him. He is an alumni of IIT Kharagpur. Okay. Now the good news is we don't have one but in fact we have 23 IITs located all across India. And out of these 23 you would certainly be aware of the famous ones which are IIT Delhi IIT Kanpur IIT Bombay Madras Kharagpur Guwahati the IIT which is known as ISM Dhanbad that is Indian School of Mining and also IIT BHU apart from these we also have some recently newly built IITs which include IIT Roper Mandi Jodhpur Gandhinagar Indore Patna Hyderabad and many more Okay these IITs offer various undergraduate level programs postgraduate level programs as well as doctorate level programs typically IITs are known for their BTech degree program MTech degree program as well as the dual degree program that is your BTech plus MTech okay now i'm sure you would be wondering what are the benefits of studying in an IIT well let me acquaint you with them number 1 great faculty yes you get highly knowledgeable and excellent teachers at iits yaar ye teachers sirf aapko theory nahi padhayenge but in fact real life mein practically engineering ko apply karna sikhayenge jaise for example agar main iit kanpur ki baat karti hu to wahan pe in their aerospace department they have air strip they have actual aeroplanes jo wahan ke khud students ne hi design kiye hain can you believe that aur aisa isliye possible hai क्योंकि आई आई टीज आर डैम रिच इन रिसोर्सिस यस दे हैव हाईली एडवांस्ड हाईली अपग्रेडेड हाईली अपडेटेड इक्विपमेंट्स दे हैव वर्ल्ड क्लास फेसिलिटीज मॉडर्न इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विच इनेबल्स एनी स्टूडेंट टू ग्रो होलिस्टिकली नेक्स्ट वी हैव दिस वेल आप सबको पता है कि आई आई टीज हैव वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एलम बेस इनका एल्यूमिना नेटवर्क सुपरबली स्ट्रॉन्ग रहता है जिसके कारण योर चांसेस ऑफ लैंडिंग इन अ जॉब इन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कंपनीज ऑटोमेटिकली इनक्रीज यार समझो कि जब आप आई आई टी में पढ़ रहे होते हो तो यू आर अमंग द बेस्ट ब्रेन ऑफ द कंट्री आप क्रीम क्राउड में बिलोंग करते हो सो देर इज नो मोर एनी नीड ऑफ यू टू रन बिहाइंड द कंपनीज टू हायर यू रादर कंपनी स्टार्ट चेजिंग यू All right. Next, well, you become exceptionally great team player. IITs may are there are countless number of extracurricular activities as well as projects which ensure all around development of the student. Or, your communication skills, interpersonal skills, soft skills, 
टॉप नॉच लेवल पे पहुंच जाते हैं सी द फिंटेबुलस वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इज आउट देयर फॉर योर टेकिंग बट इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सप्लोर दिस वर्ल्ड इन ऑर्डर टू अनलॉक दिस ट्रेजर देर इज द फर्स्ट रोड ब्लॉक फॉर विच यू नीड द की एंड द की इज जे ई यस आई एम श्योर यू वुड बी वंडरिंग वॉट इज दिस जे ई वेल लेट मी एन लाइट इन यू JEE stands for the joint entrance examination this exam has two parts attached to it you have a JEE main exam and you have a JEE advanced exam today we will only be concentrating our discussion over the JEE main exam all right sabse pehli baat from time immemorial this exam has been conducted by the CBSE which is your central board of secondary education but very recently in fact from 2019 onwards this responsibility has been transferred to nta which is your national testing agency okay and dusri baat is exam ko do categories of students de sakte hain sabse pehle wo who seek admission in the undergraduate engineering courses unke liye hota hai paper 1 and dusre wo who seek admission in the design or architectural courses unke liye hota hai paper 2a/2b because we are a crowd of engineering aspirants we will be in detail scanning and inspecting paper 1 of je main fine okay this paper has majorly two roles to play number 1 through this paper you get admission into the nits triple its and many many cfti's which are your centrally funded technical institutes and number 2 this exam acts as a qualifying round for your je advanced exam on clearing which you are eligible to get admitted into the iits got it now this exam is no more conducted through a pen and paper Yes, you have to take this exam in the online mode by sitting in front of a PC. Also, the number of languages in which this paper was conducted previously were very limited. You could only take this paper in English or in Hindi. But now the scope has widened, the choice has widened. A student can take this paper in any of his or her local state or regional language which could be assamese bengali kannad malayalam punjabi urdu gujarati marathi odia tamil or telugu got it now let's talk about the paper pattern in 2019 for the first time this paper was conducted twice a year once in january and then in april and the best of both the scores were considered to be your final score In 2021 for the first time this paper will be conducted four times a year once in feb then in march then in april and then in may and best out of the four scores will be taken as your final score ab itni sari baar je main ka paper conduct karane ke kya fayde hain number 1 it gives a student multiple opportunities to improve their scores number 2 Even if आपका first attempt अच्छा नहीं जाता you get a first hand experience, you get a demo, a trailer of taking that examination. आप अपनी गलतियां analyze कर सकते हो और उनको future attempts में avoid करके अपना performance improve कर सकते हो right? Number थ्री which is very important, बच्चों का साल बर्बाद होने से बचेगा यार NTA टी ए का मानना है कि जब हम एक बच्चे को इतनी सारी बार जेई मेन में बैठने के अटेम्प्ट देंगे तो उससे ड्रॉपर्स यानी कि वो बच्चे जो एक साल ड्रॉप लेते हैं इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिपेयर उनकी संख्या उनकी मात्रा उनकी क्वांटिटी विल बिकम नेग्लिजिबल व्हिच इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल थॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी एंड नंबर फोर रियलाइज देर आर सम सिचुएशन इन आर लाइफ विच आर बियॉन्ड आर कंट्रोल किसी ऐसी सिचुएशन किसी ऐसी रीजन के कारण अगर आप कोई एक अटेम्प्ट नहीं भी दे पाते हैं तो लाइफ डजेंट एंड देयर यू विल हैव द नेक्स्ट अटेम्प्ट टू सिट फॉर ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मार्किंग स्कीम सी बैक इन द डेज इस पेपर में होते थे 90 क्वेश्चंस इन 2020 फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस वाज रिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम 90 टू 75 but in 2021 again for the first time this number has again been increased from 75 to 
But good news is, out of these 90 questions, you have to attempt only 75. How? Let's understand. See, 90 questions total in the paper, that means 30 questions from each subject, physics, chemistry and mathematics. Each set of 30 questions is divided into two sections, A and B. Section A consists of 20 questions and section B consists of 10 questions. The 20 questions of section A are all of MCQ type. That means each one of them will have four options. Exactly single option will be correct. If you tick the correct answer, you will get plus four. If you tick the wrong answer, you will get minus one. Yes, your score will be penalized by a negative one. And if you leave the question unanswered, unattempted, you will get zero. Okay, whereas if I talk about section B, all the 10 questions in this section will be of FIB category, that is fill in the blanks type. They will have a statement and a blank and in that blank you have to enter the correct numeric value using your virtual keyboard and mouse. If you give the correct answer, you get a plus 4. If you give a wrong answer or you leave the question unanswered, in both the cases, you will get a 0. Which implies there is no negative marking in section B. Moreover, you have to attempt only five questions out of the 10 questions in section B. Keep this in mind. 20 questions from section A, five from section B, that means 25 questions per subject, which makes it 75 questions to be attempted throughout the paper out of the available 90 questions. Okay? And now let's talk about the criteria meeting which you become eligible to sit for this exam in order to pursue your undergraduate engineering courses through the BTEC or the BE degree. Number one, in your 12th grade, having physics and mathematics as two of your subjects is a compulsion. And along with that, you should have an additional subject which could be any one out of chem, or biotechnology or biology or any technical subject or any vocational subject. Understood? Also, if you wish to sit for this exam, you should have secured a minimum of 75% marks in your 12th grade or alternatively you should be in the top 20 percentile in your 12th exam or equivalent qualifying exam. Now, for the first time, in fact, I should say for the year 2021 to 2022, this minimum percentage criteria has been scrapped off completely. Now, all you need is just a passing certificate of your 12th grade exam. Mind it, NTA clearly mentions on its website that this minimum percentage relaxation is only valid for this year due to the unfavorable circumstances that the entire world is going through. Okay? And next. Well, there is no direct barrier upon the age of the student who wishes to take this exam. But indirectly, NTA says something. It specifies that if you are someone who is interested to appear for the 2021 J main attempt, then either you should have your 12th boards in 2021 or you should have passed your 12th boards in the year 2020, that is last year, or at max you should have passed your 12th boards in 2019. But if you are a 2018 12th pass out, you are not allowed to appear for the 2021 J main attempt. Clear? And now a disclaimer. See, whenever you wish to seek any news, any notification or any information regarding J.E. Main, please do not get misled by any random link on the internet. Always reach out to authentic websites, which are either your www.nta.ac.in or the jmain.nta.nic.in. Okay? And with this, guys, it's a wrap. I hope you appreciate all the insights about J.E. Main that I shared with you today. Of course, we will be exploring more details about this exam as well as many other potential exams that you can sit for in the upcoming sessions. On this note, it's me, Bhumika, signing off. I'll meet you super soon again. Till then, take care and keep learning. Thank you.